Hi, my name is Michaela. I'm a registered massage therapist in BC. In this video, we're going to build on my previous video about rolling your hips. When we're discussing the glutes, there are two main groups of muscles, the superficial, glute max, TFL, and glute med. These are the ones that are best addressed by using a large roller, like in my last video. The second group of muscles are the deep muscles, glute min, piriformis, superior and inferior gemellus, obturator internus and externus, and quadratus femoris. Because of the size, depth, and location of these muscles, it's more challenging to get to them using something with a large surface area, like a foam roller. This is when a lacrosse ball or tennis ball become your best friend. Before we begin going over the process, there is one major caution that we need to be aware of when working in this area. The sciatic nerve runs through here from the greater sciatic foramen under the piriformis and into the thigh. So when you are in this region, if you start to feel any electric-like sensations or pins and needles down your leg, move the ball off that area. There are two main points that we need to be aware of before we start. The first is the greater trochanter and the second is the iliac crest. Essentially, we are going to be drawing lines from the greater trochanter up to the iliac crest and back, kind of like drawing a sun. Start by standing next to the wall with the side you want to roll facing the wall. We'll start by demonstrating for the right side. Put your weight onto the opposite leg, left leg here, with a slight squat, and rest the toes of the leg being worked, the right leg, against the floor so that there is no weight on that leg. Place the ball in the meat of the muscle close to the front. Begin drawing lines with the ball between the greater trochanter and your iliac crest, moving next to the previous line with each pass. Continue drawing lines around the trochanter. As you move towards the back, you will be moving in more of a rotation movement than an up and down movement. If you find a bit of a sore spot, hang out there and wait for the soreness to pass. You can also give your leg a little wiggle to make sure you aren't tensing up the muscle. Because there tends to be quite a bit of muscle in this area, it can be tempting to do a little too much and leave yourself feeling sore the next day. Try starting out with one pass from the front to the back every other day and see how your body feels with that. If you have any questions about this or any other self-care tips, please comment down below and I'll do my best to answer. If you want to watch that video I referred to earlier, you can just click here and give it a watch.